Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus, Extra Practice with Integration. In this section we're going to tackle the very famous, very important technique of integration called integration by parts. All right, integration by parts. So what basically has transpired in this entire series of lessons that we've had is that we've introduced the integral, we've introduced what it is, and then we introduced some very basic integrations with polynomials and such, and then we introduced uh, you know, uh, trigonometric functions like sine and cosine, and then we introduced the super important technique of integration by substitution, and then we kind of just continued adding to your knowledge with what do you do with logarithms, what do you do with exponential functions, what do you do in these cases. And then we had some applications of the integral where we did volume integration and surface area integration. There was a few different techniques there. But basically all of those, those, those uh, applications of integrals with volume and surface area, it basically boiled down to you understanding what to do. And then when you put everything in the integral, you just crank through the integral and do it. You, know, you, you calculate the, the answer to the integral using any and all means that you have. Right? So here we're going to add to your, your knowledge base and how to handle more complicated types of integration. So it's called integration by parts. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to be trained, I'm going to teach you, how to look at an integral and figure out at a glance if you're probably going to need integration by parts. And what you do is you kind of break the integral up into two parts. That's why it's called integration by parts. And there's a very famous formula that you can then apply once you've broken it up to basically chop it up into two simpler sections. Is basically what's going on. So, and the thing to keep in mind is there's a very, uh, they don't teach you this a lot of times in calculus books, but in my opinion, there's a very bulletproof way to figure out when you're very likely are going to need to use integration by parts. So, what I'm going to write on the board is not going to make a lot of sense at first, but I need to write it down and start somewhere. So, for certain forms, so I'm going to even write that down, for certain forms of an integral, what you will do is you will define, you will look at your integral and you will choose part of this integral to be u. And then you will choose another part of this integral to be dv. And I know you don't understand what dv is yet, but you'll do that. And then what you do is you take the u that you've defined and from that you calculate the derivative and you find du. And then you take the dv that you've defined as part of your original integral and you integrate this and you find v. So at the end of the day, you're going to have an integral, you're going to take part of your integral and, and choose it to be equal to u, and then you're going to calculate the derivative, and it's going to be called du. And then whatever's left over in the original integral, you're going to call it dv. And you're going to integrate this, and you're going to find um, v. So at the end of the day, you should have u and du, and you should have, I'm sorry, you should have u and du, and you should have v and dv. You should have all four pieces of these informa of, of information. And I'll put a little star by them because as I work problems, I'm actually going to kind of asterisk when you've found all four pieces of the puzzle. And once you have all four pieces of the puzzle in place, then integration by parts is u times v minus the integral of v times du. This is integration by parts. And I know this, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I mean, this is a lot of what textbooks do at first. They're like, well, this is integration by parts. Good luck. And then you're like, what do I do? Well, you'll find out simply in just a few minutes how we're handling it. But the big picture, the 50,000 foot overview, is you're going to be given a complicated integral that you're not going to be able to solve by substitution or any other means. You're going to break that integral up into something that you call u and something else that you call dv. And from these pieces of information, you're going to calculate these two pieces of information. And then you take u times the v that you get minus the integral.